Hello, my friends. This morning at about 2.57 a.m., I was laying in my bed, sleeping like a baby. I was probably curled up in the fetal position, had my thumb in my mouth. Don't tell them what kind of dream I was having. And all of a sudden, I felt a shaking, like somebody was actually rattling my, grabbing my headboard and shaking my bed. And then all of a sudden there was the loudest boom, followed by some more shaking. And this was an earthquake. We had an earthquake at 2.57 a.m. One app that I use reported it as a 5.0 and the other one said 4.9. Uh, when I come back, and we're going to talk about earthquakes here. Hey! Hello there. So, this earthquake that happened this morning, I thought a bomb went off. It rattled my windows. I, nothing actually got damaged in here. It was really kind of surprised me because of the intensity of it. And I mean, of course it woke me up and it really it rattled me right on the spot because I thought, oh Lord, I mean another one. We had an earthquake last week that I talked about just briefly. This one that happened this morning was not that far away. It's like 11 miles away. It was only like nine or so miles deep. It was a very quick one. And so it woke me up and I got up and I was getting on Facebook and like everybody else does. And I felt that one and you know, and everybody talks about it. The first thing we always want to do is talk about it. And so I, I was sitting here at my desk, and about 30 minutes later, another one hit again this morning. And it was a 4.5, pretty close to the same place as the first one. In total, there were like five earthquakes in our region this morning. So what follows here is I, I use a website. Uh, I'm, well, here it is. So here's a website that I look at occasionally, VolcanoDiscovery.com. It reports on volcanoes and earthquakes. It's, I mainly use it for earthquake information. And the page that you're looking at here, it, latest quakes in or near Monta, Provincia de Manabí. That's the Manabí province here in the last 24 hours on Friday, July 22nd, 2022. In other words, today. And as we look down here through the list, over the past 24 hours, Monta had two quakes of magnitude 4.0 plus, the largest being 4.9. The little application on my phone said it was a 5.0, but who's counting that one point? I don't know, who cares? So it says in the last 24 hours, two quakes. Uh, let me see if I can get more information about this here. Here you can see where they were. These are the two that they're talking about. Here's the information. The one that happened at 257, that's the one that woke me up out of my bed. And my, when I rolled over and looked at my phone, it was 3 o'clock. That was the 4.9. That was the one that was sounded like a bomb going off. There was this little bit of rattling and then boom. <laughs> so that one was 13 kilometers northeast of Puerto Viejo here in Manabí. Then at 3.39, 41 minutes later, there was the 4.5. Now this earthquake, a lot of people said, was a lot more gentle. And it was. I mean, it, it lasted a little bit longer than the 4.9 at 3 o'clock or 2.57. And, but it was just a gentle rocking back and forth and you could hear it. Uh, that one was at 10 kilometers northeast of uh, Puerto Viejo. The app on my phone said that this one here, the one that happened here, uh, epicenter was in um, Crucita. So I guess it depends on where you look for information. But you can see, like here, significant 5.0 quake hits near Puerto Viejo, Canton, Puerto Viejo, Provincia de Manabí, Ecuador, and you can see from the map here 
It's, it's like 11 miles from Matu. Uh, I don't know, wait a second. No, no, that's not. This is, yeah, that was. That was the one this morning. So you can see here, here was Monta right here. It's very close. <laughs> but it was a real quick, I mean, th the whole thing lasted three or four seconds, if that long. It was just uh, some light shaking and then the boom. It says here, an earthquake of magnitude pipeline occurred early morning, Friday, July 22nd at 2.57 a.m. Local time near Puerto Viejo. Let me see if there's anything really significant to read here. I didn't, nothing that, well, who cares? So here's the, here they're saying here, magnitude 4.9, the depth was 41.2 kilometers. Shaking intensity, light shaking, I agree with that. Nearby towns and cities, there's, of course, there's Montez right here. As you can see right here. Oh, and they felt it in Waikil as well. So anyway, I'll put a link to this site in the description. VA or VolcanoDiscovery.com I, I find that this information here is pretty accurate. The first quake, you know, woke me up big time. The second one, I was like I said, I was already up. But anyway, there's the site. Okay. So that's the site that I use, and I, I, and then plus I have an app on my phone where I uh, get like immediate results on what earthquake took place, and it is called. I have an iPhone, so I'm, I'm, uh, it's an iOS app, and it's just called Earthquake. Uh, if you can see here, I don't know if you can see, but there is the app, the icon for it. And when you look at it, there's what the interface looks like. I, I know I could probably do a screenshot and do a much better job. And, well, yeah, here it is. And you can see what it shows. It shows, you know, where all the quakes took place. And you can click on one of these links and it gives you a little bit more detailed information about it. So there's multiple sources of information about earthquakes and I use the two, the one on my phone and the one uh, that I just showed you on the little short video clip where I actually re record some stuff off my screen. I, I got to tell you, if, when you move here, we, we always talk about the weather and cost of living and dogs barking, noise, and horn honking, and food, and where to eat, where not to eat. And you don't really hear a lot of people talking about earthquakes, but I'm telling you, they have earthquakes here. We're on the ring of fire. I mean, the, the, if you look at any earthquake map, you'll see, I mean, it runs right up the coast here. And then there's another fault line that's more inland, back here behind me. And so it's a fact of life here. Earthquakes are happening all the time. Most of them, a lot of people don't even feel a lot of them. Seems, seems like, I mean, I've felt five or six now since I've been here. I remember some from last year. I did a couple of short videos. They were minor. They happened during the day. But I'll tell you what really rattles me is when they happen in the night. I think I can handle it okay during the daytime because I can see what's going on. I can look outside. And plus you're awake. You know, you've you got all your senses about you and you're, you're, you know, you're alert. When it happens at 3 o'clock in the morning, you're in a dead sleep and it wakes you up. For me, I mean, I'm a fairly light sleeper. But most of the people that I talked to during the breakfast hour this morning uh, felt these same quakes. But I was amazed on, on Facebook at some of the people that didn't feel them. I even had one friend that said he thought that one, the second one was more pleasant. I haven't figured out yet what's pleasant about any kind of an earthquake, but that's my friend that said that. The earthquake that happened in 2016 was a big deal here. That was a 7.8 or 7.9, killed like 700 people, injured like, uh, uh, I think I have some notes. It happened, according to my notes, it happened April 16, 2016. 
uh, at 7 p.m. 700 people dead, more than 1,600 injured, and 700,000 people needed immediate assistance during that, after that quake. And of course, most of the force was concentrated in Monta, Pertinales, Puerto Viejo. Damage estimated at two to three billion dollars with the B. I've heard some horror stories about that earthquake. They said it lasted 96 seconds long. That's a long time. If you don't believe me, just stop what you're doing and count off 96 seconds. It seems like an eternity. And I would imagine during a disaster, it's even worse. We've had these little shakers here since I've been here. That had been minor. The, the biggest one that I personally have felt was the 7.1 that happened in Peru. And that was uh, last year. That happened right before sunup. It was like right before 6 a.m. And it was a pretty good shaker, but that was 360 something miles away. And it was 65 miles deep. We can have these kind of small magnitude earthquakes here but if they're close by and they're not very deep, it could be that big one as far as we're concerned. So it's a fact of life. It's a fact of life, folks. And when you come to Ecuador, you got to expect to experience some earthquakes. I'm not, I'd be lying to you if I told you it didn't bother me. I, I don't know how much more of these I can take. I don't want to run away from here because of earthquakes. I can think of a lot of other things I'd rather run away from, but I can't think of anything that creates more of a helpless feeling than being in an earthquake in the middle of the night when it's dark and you don't know what's going on around you and you're awakened by it. It's pretty frightening. Those that tell me that it doesn't scare them, you're full of poop. You're never gonna convince me that it doesn't scare you. <laughs> so they do happen here. I've heard people tell me, that, oh, I'm on the ninth floor of this building. He said, I'm better off because I'm up here, but you know, nine floors is nine floors. It's over 100 feet. I don't want to go down with this building, even if I'm on top of it. I don't know if my heart could take it, much less being naked, because I sleep with nothing on. Maybe I need to start sleeping with my clothes on. Somebody told me that during the after the 2016 quake, a lot of expats left, and then a lot of people, even the locals here, slept with their clothes on so that they wouldn't be caught out in the elements without any clothes on. It'd be bad enough having to go out in the middle of the night without any clothes on, much less being seen naked. Jesus. Maybe I'll start sleeping in a Speedo. That's what I'll do. Then if we have an earthquake, it'll be entertaining for somebody. <laughs> I'm sorry. So that's it. That's all I got to say about it. Earthquakes happen here. It's a fact of life here. We don't talk much about it, but it does happen. And so if you think you're gonna not be able to live with it, that's something that you need to think about before coming here. They scare me.